Hello guys, guys for Waffles here. Today I want to talk to you all about collector's editions of games. Now, I figured it would be a bit more interesting if I did this with a collector's edition of a game in front of me that I could actually unbox. And so I reached out to Rebellion and they very kindly offered to sponsor this video and send me a collector's edition of Strange Brigade to show you guys actually in the video itself, in person. So I'll be doing that today and I'll be comparing it to the Black Ops 4 Collector's Editions, which there are about 17 of at this point, that I feel like kind of missed the mark a little bit, and we'll be weighing up the pros and cons of both. Right, enough talk. Let's get to some footage now of me actually finding out what's in the box. The first thing that you're going to see when you open it up is an airship. And I know if you guys are anything like me, your first reaction to this is going to be, huh? What? Why do I care about an airship? But I promise you, I'm going to come back to this in just a second and talk a little bit more about why I actually think this is really cool. But for now, we're going to move on, okay? Also included, you've got a steelbook case for the game, a hardcover, which is gold. It's got this Egyptian theme on it. I really like the aesthetic here. It definitely kind of ticks the boxes for me, so this is really cool. And then also included, you've got an art book, which gives you a bit of an insight into the development process and the concept art process as they were building out the world of Strange Brigade. So that's a nice addition too, and is again something that you do see fairly frequently with collector's editions of games. It's a fairly easy thing for them to include because they've made the concept art, they might as well show it off because chances are it looks really nice. So both those things are fairly ubiquitous in special editions of games, right? But this airship is where the game stands out. Now, the reason I think what Rebellion have done here is so cool and so unique, I suppose, as well, is that you very often do see models and figurines and recreations of objects from game worlds in special editions. I mean, that's quite often the centerpiece, the focal point, the main attraction of these bundles. And so what Rebellion have done is they've said, you know what? We're not just going to recreate something one for one and plop that in the box. I feel like instead, they're giving you the chance to make it a bit more personal and therefore a bit more special by letting you build it yourself. Now, way before I started YouTube, I used to be really into building Warhammer figures. I thought those things were so damn cool. Gluing those things all together, trying to paint them, doing a terrible job. That was really fun for me. And there were a couple of other things as well, building little mini planes and stuff like that, that I always found really enjoyable. I mean, it's the same part of my brain that always just loved Lego, I guess, loves this sort of thing as well. And so the fact that it wasn't just a 3D printed kind of object that I would then just sit on my desk and ignore for the rest of time, and instead was something that I could actually have an experience with and could personalize a little bit and make my own, just made it that much more attractive for me. Now, before I move on to the Call of Duty comparison, I want you to think in your heads, is this kind of more personal approach something that you think is really fun and valuable, or do you not really care for it so much and you'd rather just have an object just kind of given to you to put on your shelf? So, let's talk about objects just given to you to put on your shelves, okay? Call of Duty have always given you some kind of epic item in basically the equivalent of the prestige edition of the game, right? And Treyarch have a history of making sure that those items are very useful. So if we go back to World at War, I believe that contained like a flask or something in their special edition. And then fast forwarding, we get to Black Ops 3. And in my opinion, the pinnacle of useful special edition items in the form of a damn fridge. The Juggernog edition of that game is by far one of my favorite special editions of anything ever. It's incredible. And I mean, it was so cool that they were able to actually tie in something from the Zombies universe and make it a really awesome addition to your home. Like it doesn't just look cool, it's actually got some purpose. And I thought that was fantastic. That was awesome, but it was also three years ago. And the reason I wanted to make this video is that I feel like the Black Ops 4 Ultimate Edition, the Mystery Box Edition, just doesn't really live up to the previous line of things that Treyarch have done. I mean, I flew myself out to Comic-Con this year because I knew that Jason was doing an exclusive Zombies panel at that event. And Jason had announced that he'd be showing off the Mystery Box Edition of the game there for the first time ever. 
Now with Black Ops 3, the Juggernaut editions sold out basically instantly as soon as they revealed them at Comic-Con, so it was a pretty big deal and I was really excited to get there. But then when they announced that the Mystery Box edition of the game, and at the time we didn't know it was going to be the Mystery Box edition by the way, but when they announced that the things it would contain were some fig pins, some patches, a puzzle, and then just a box, which isn't even the classic mystery box. It's not the notorious design that we all love so much. It's a different one entirely from Black Ops 4. When they said that that was what was in it and they showed it to us, I was kind of left feeling a little bit underwhelmed. I mean, we went from a fridge, an actual fridge, to a box? And it's not even a box that you're going to be able to fit that much stuff inside. I mean, when Jason was showing it on the stage, this was the worst bit, right? He was showing it on the stage, and just like the Juggernaut fridge, when you open the box, it makes noises. It makes kind of zombies noises or something. Now, with the fridge, it was kind of cool. It was like, I'll reach for a drink, and it'll make the kind of round change music or something, and that'll be great. But this box was just like screaming at him, and he got so kind of frustrated with it on the stage that he switched it off in front of everyone. He was like, nah, I don't want to hear these noises anymore, and he just unplugged it. Like, what? Who is that appealing to? I mean, I was just confused, dude, and it sucks because I just don't really understand what they were going for here. Jason said this was one of the most useful special editions of all time. He said he used his every day or something, and this was before he announced it. And then it just turned out to be a box. And I mean, I was just left scratching my head, dude. I was really confused as to what they were doing. And I kind of feel the same way about all the other special editions of Black Ops 4. Like, the only reason that I personally would buy the special edition of this game is to get the season pass for a tiny bit cheaper. Like, that's the only thing that's attractive for me, and I'm a ridiculously big Zombies fan, and so clearly there's some kind of disconnect here, because I should be frothing at the mouth, excited to get whatever the hell they're releasing, and yet I'm kind of here like, eh, I mean, I just don't really have a connection to it right now. I mean, maybe if I got my hands on it in person myself and I could actually like open it up and feel how heavy it was and see the intricacy of the design or something, then maybe I'd change my mind. But if I was given two options by a magic genie, if a big purple guy popped out of a lamp and said, hey Milo, you've got two different choices you can make here. One choice, in one hand, I have a box that makes some noises when you open it. Or, in the other hand, for a completely different franchise that you're much less familiar with, admittedly, you've got this model that you can build yourself and then display just like you would be displaying that box, which would you like? I think, to be honest, I would go with the model I could build. I mean, that was a fun experience that I'm never going to have opening a box. And I feel like that's a bit of a problem for Call of Duty, because as much as I think Strange Brigade is a really cool game, this town is big enough for both of them. I mean, it would be great if they were both really cool, but this year it just didn't quite check the box for me, and the Strange Brigade one did. I mean, I thought it was sweet. And so now, I'm going to take the role of the genie and ask you guys your opinion on this. Are you excited by the idea of that kind of personal experience that you get with something that does have a little bit of assembly required, and it is a little bit of a challenge to kind of get that final product, and it is an experience for you to enjoy, or do you prefer it when it's a little bit less personal, but it's just a direct recreation of something that is in the game? And again, this isn't the old mystery box. That's the thing that confuses me the most. They didn't go for the Origins mystery box. They didn't go for the classic mystery box. They went for one that no one really cares about yet. I mean, the Shadows of Evil mystery box is awesome. They could have gone for that. But instead, I guess it kind of made sense that they wanted to promote the new one, but I'm just less connected to it. Anyway, I want to hear your thoughts on this, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Massive thank you to Rebellion for actually getting involved with this video and sending me a copy of the game. And I'll be posting some Strange Brigade gameplay tomorrow, too, if you want to check that out on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed for that. The one final thing I want to say here is that I'm going to flash some blackout codes on the screen right now in case you guys don't have access to the beta yet, so for those of you that have notifications turned on, you're in for a treat because you're going to be the first people to see these, so let me know in the comments down below if you manage to redeem your code, and feel free to share your spare codes in the comments as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.